On Tuesday night, the Terriers hosted Lafayette in the quarterfinal round of the Patriot League tournament. The first 45 minutes went scoreless, but the Terriers able to outshoot Lafayette 13-3. BU got two saves in the first half from their freshman keeper, Amanda Fay. BU continued to have offensive chances in the second half and were able to cash in on their ninth corner kick of the day, as in the 75th minute, Jackie Cardi was able to head home a goal off a feed from Anna Helferty. The low trip and cross and the header is in and the Terriers score. They lead 1-0 in this Patriot League quarterfinal. The BU defense was able to hold Lafayette off the scoreboard for the final 15 minutes. And in the end, BU outshot Lafayette 21-6 for the game and Amanda Fay earned another shutout with three saves. With the victory, the Terriers move on to the Patriot League semifinals where they'll take on Bucknell on Friday night. That game will be hosted by Navy in Annapolis, Maryland. You'll be able to watch that game on the Patriot League Network on Stadium. Standing by with Coach Feldman after the Terriers win their quarterfinal matchup over Lafayette 1-0. And it's really a tough battle with the Leopards here today. They seemed as if they kind of muddied up the waters a bit for you as that game went on. But again, your team kind of stuck to what it wanted to do and got that late goal by Jackie Cardi. Yeah, you know, every team has their style and tactics and they believe in it and trust it and they've worked on it all year and they have theirs and we have ours and um, they're, they were a little conflicting um, and uh, gave, certainly their way uh, gave them some chances, some really good chances and I think our way gave us some chances too and fortunately, um, uh, I don't know what number corner that was, but we, ninth corner, ninth corner. <laughs> yeah, um, we finally uh, uh, put one in. Um, but, you know, they're a tough team, well, very well coached always. I mean, you know, the fact that they've made the Patriot League tournament two years in a row, and um, uh, I think Mick uh, does a great job, and their kids uh, really trust their their style and tactics and believe in it and um, compete really hard. So it was a hard-fought match, I thought. Um, you know, I thought we were going to break through. I was hoping we were going to break through, and I really believe we were going to break through, and it was good to see it didn't have to go into overtime because there's, a, you know, a lot of stress involved. There's a lot on the line. Now playing in the quarterfinals a little bit different, obviously, for you and the program, but uh, talking to you before the game, you kind of just each team is a, is, a different, is a different year. Yeah, every team has its own path, you know, and that's the beauty when you start a season. It's its own uh, story um, in the big book of BU women's soccer. And um, I think the kids have to really appreciate that. You know, they, they, they take it very seriously that they are part of a program that has um, had a history of success and they're very prideful and they want to carry on those um, the tradition of success but I, I said more importantly to them carrying on the tradition of the values and the culture um, will lead us there and the process will lead us there as long as they take care of um, carrying on the important traditions and my feeling is you know every team is going to have its own um, way of getting to the end uh, I think we're better today than we were certainly in August. Uh, I think we have for well formed. Um, we've had a lot, we've gotten knocked down a lot. We've had a lot of injuries. We had some diff disappointing results, but this team keeps getting up off the mat and they, you know, that's part of their personality and perseverance is I think one of the key elements of this year's team and um, I'm really happy for them that they're getting to play in the championship weekend. Well, it's Bucknell on Friday. A little bit of uh, potential revenge for what happened last year. Yeah, you know, they, they've beaten us the last couple times, three times now in a row, and um, but they've all been good close games, and uh, uh, yeah, I, um, we're excited to be there. We're, um, we feel confident that we are one of the best teams, and um, we'll bring our best game um, on Friday. Thank you, Coach, and good luck Friday.